Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my second ever video, so I'm still kind of getting to grips with things with the video editing. It isn't perfect, but um, please bear with me and I hope you enjoy this cleaning motivation video. I am doing the downstairs of my house, which you will soon see is not very big, it's just my kitchen and my living room. Um, so I'm just kind of emptying the bin, getting a lot of washing on, tidying up, and just getting ready for the day. I ran out of cat food pouches yesterday morning, so he only has his dry food, which apparently is not enough and he must have a pouch, which is probably why he's following me around so much this morning in this video. Um, if you kind of keep a look at the rest of the video, you'll notice him in random little corners. At one point he's behind the high chair on the sitting room heater, and on another bit he's on the sofa, and he makes a good performance in front of the camera once or twice. I filmed this video the same day as doing my first one with the um, with the cupboard organisation, so that's why my clothes are exactly the same and the kitchen kind of looks quite similar. I always wear rubber gloves when I'm doing the washing up. I have really heat sensitive hands and I can never put them in the water if it's really hot and obviously you want the water to be as hot as possible when you're doing your dishes. Um, I also hate the feel of food. If there was any food in the sink it would just completely gross me out. Um, and also the feel of sponges. Not, not a fan. Not a fan at all. So I always wear rubber gloves and I don't, also don't want my hands to dry out. So I wear the rubber gloves and moisturise as well. I'm using the Method Countertop Cleaner in Vivid Watermelon, I think this flavour is, and it smells so good. Absolutely amazing. Proper watermelon smell. Absolutely love the Method products. They're so good. And they smell absolutely amazing and they're very good for the planet, which is an absolute bonus. So now I'm just writing down some stuff in my diary for the kids. Um, this time of year, as all parents will know, there's so much going on with school activities, school shows, Christmas plays and parties. So I'm just writing down some things that they need to bring in with them and what days it's on, just so that I don't forget and everything is organised and ready. This is just some of the random stuff that my kids bring into my house. I don't even know what that rock was. So it's a way outside into the garden where it belongs with all the other rocks.
Next, I'm just getting the floors swept and ready to get steam cleaned. I use a steam cleaner as well as an antibacterial floor wash as well. Okay, here I am just putting away some washing and I absolutely hate putting away laundry, especially when it's like this and there's about four loads ready to get folded. So what I'm doing is I fold the kids' clothes and put them in a pile for each child. The kids share a room, so all their clothes are in one room and it's just easier if everybody's clothes is in its designated pile. When it comes to putting it away, I just lift out that pile and put them away into their own drawers. And then I do the same for mine in my partner's room and I put in like the towels and the bedding and everything into that one as well. But yeah, this is probably one of my least favourite jobs to do. So boring. I think putting clothes away, doing laundry, folding it, all that, it has to be one of my least preferred jobs. Absolutely hate it. So I'm so glad that is over and done with. I'm just picking stuff up off the floor, ready to get hoovered. The flowers were a little bit plastic, so I am just putting them outside to the bin and coming back in. And that is my baby, you can probably hear in the background. Those bags were things for the charity shop, there were also bits of clothing that had loads of holes in it and just wasn't going to be suitable for donating. So I'm taking it to a shop that gives me a voucher for handing in clothes to be recycled.
I have such long hair and no matter how hard I try to kind of keep it down, I'll blow dry it, straighten it if I have to, it always ends up getting tied back. So I'm actually going to get it cut next month. I'm going to get it just chopped off, make it a lot more manageable and easier to look after and it's not in my way. I'm just moving things out of the way and making space by the Christmas tree to put our big Santa sacks. Um, in our house, mum and dad bring the presents and Santa fills the stockings. So my son wanted to bring down all the presents, have the Santa sacks filled and ready to go. So I'm just making some space for them. Thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will hopefully see you again for another cleaning motivational video. Thank you, bye bye.